Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. SD versus SSD. So an SD card is inexpensive, it's small, and there's a lot of advantages to it in terms of a device to move things from one computer to another. But in terms of speed, they are slow. The class 10 133 speed means that this card is rated for at least 10 megabytes per second. This one's actually because it's 133 speed is rated for 20 megabytes per second. An SSD is typically going to be in the neighborhood of 1.2 gigabytes per second. Now when you compare that with the 10 to 12 megabytes that a true class 10 is, you're talking about 100 fold as many times faster. So a SD card is going to be 100 times slower than an SSD drive. That's a lot of difference and not for a whole lot of difference in money. An SDXC 128 gig card as of when I'm shooting this video is about $180. A 128 gig SSD drive is about $220. So it's $40 more but a hundred times faster. So that's a big difference. The difference starts to blur when you look at some of the other flash drive formats. Compact flash comes in 700x speeds, so versus a 133. When you figure that a very fast SD card is 133, but the standard is actually closer to 66 to 100, and a compact flash is in the range of 600 typically, a compact flash card is going to be about six times faster than an SD. A P2 card, that's the Panasonic format, is going to be the equivalent of 1200x or 1000x, somewhere in there. So it's going to be 10 times faster than these um, at the lowest end. And some of the highest end ones are several thousand X. They don't even use the X format because it doesn't make sense. So SD cards are the slowest of the memory, but that's because they're also the smallest of the memory. An SD card is a lot smaller than a two and a half inch SSD, and SDs are basically the same as the micro SD versions, which are the little ones that go into your cell phone that are about a fourth the surface area and even thinner than an SD card. So SD is definitely smaller, but it's also slower and it doesn't have the large capacity, but it also doesn't have as many writes available to it. A typical SD card is good for a couple of thousand writes to any of the blocks. An SSD is generally rated for a couple of million writes to any given block. So again, you're talking about a thousand fold as many times as writes and about a thousand times as fast. So they're not the comparable things in terms of if you're going to stick them in your computer to play games off them, they're really just a which form factor do you need should be making your decision.